We are the student of Yoga Darshanam at Mysore, doing 200 hours TTC, batch May 2060, under the guidance of Yoga Charya Santosh Kumar. Today we are going to demonstrate how to teach Sarvangasana, shoulder stand to the students of beginner, intermediate and advanced level along with its advantages and limitations. This asana can be practiced as a finishing sequence. Sarvangasana means involvement of all body parts and benefits too. In English it is called shoulder stand. As the mother creates happiness and health in our home, the same way this posture also creates happiness and health in our body. And that's why it is called the queen of asanas. Before we start Savangasana, let's do some preparatory exercises. First, neck exercises. Clutch your hands and keep it under your chin and inhale and stretch up. And then, keep your hands behind your head and exhale and stretch down. Do, si do this exercise five to nine times. Then, shoulder rotation exercise. Bend your elbows, keep your fingers on the shoulders and inhale, go up. Exhale, come down. Do this exercise five to nine times, clockwise and anti-clockwise. The first preparatory asana is Setu Bandhasana, which means bridge pose in English. Lie down on your back, bend your knees, bring towards your hip, palm facing down. Now, inhaling, slowly raise your buttocks and back, vertebra by vertebra. Hold this position for five breaths. Exhaling, slowly come back. Release your legs and relax. The second preparatory asana for Sarvangasana is Viprit Karni Sarvangasana. For beginners, it can be done with wall support or without wall support. Lie down on your back, hands by the sides, palms on the mat. Breathe normally. Now inhale and raise your both legs up to 90 degree. Inhale again and lift your buttocks keeping your both hands under your waist. Elbows inside. Keep legs straight at 90 degree and feet flexed. Your back must be at 45 degree. The weight of your body should be on your shoulder and neck. But your neck should be relaxed and free. Hold this posture for 5 breaths. To come down, slowly bend your knees and keep your back, buttocks and legs on the mat in the order. Hands by the sides. Relax in Shavasana. For the beginners, Savangasana can be taught with the help of props on wall support using three or four inches of block, blanket, towels or any appropriate props under the shoulders. Your neck should be free and not on these props. Now to start, sit close to the wall. Turn and lie down. Inhale and lift your buttocks up and under your waist. Your neck and back at 90 degrees. Bend your knees properly. Keep your feet pressed on your wall. Hold this posture for 5 breaths. And if you can, try to walk further on the wall, keeping your back straight. Now to come down the same way. 
Bend your knee at 90 degrees on the wall. Exhale and keep your back and buttocks on the mat. Hands by the sides. And relax. Second, Sarvangasana with the help of wall support. Sit knee at the wall. Turn and lie down. Keep your legs straight on the wall. Now bend your knees. Inhale and lift your buttocks with the help of your feet, keeping your hands under the waist. Try to lift as much as possible and keep your back at 90 degrees. Your chin will touch your clavicle, but your neck should be free. Now slowly inhale and lift your one leg away from the wall and then the other leg. Try to keep your both legs at 90 degree and feet flex. This is Sarvangasana. Hold here for 5 breaths. Now to come down, exhale and keep your feet on the wall one after the other. Bend your knees. Now exhale and keep your back and buttocks on the mat. Hands by the sides and relax. Let's do the final Sarvangasana without any wall support. This is for the advanced level students which can be practiced anywhere. Now lie down on your back, hands by the sides and breathe normally. Now inhale, raise your both legs up to 90 degrees. Now inhale and raise your buttocks, keeping both hands under your waist and elbows inside. Raise the trunk further till the whole body is vertical and the body weight should be on the shoulder. The chin presses the jugular notch. Hold for 5 breaths. One can practice Jalandhar Bandh, Udyan Bandh and Mola Bandh to get the maximum benefits from these asanas and bandhas. Now to come back, exhale slowly, bend your knees and bring your back, buttock and legs on the mat and hands by the sides and relax. For advanced level students, there are different variations in Sarvangasana. One of them is doing Padmasana and Sarvangasana and the others are Niralamba, Ekapada, Pashvaikapada and Pashva Sarvangasana. Counter pose for Sarvangasana is Matsyasana, the fish pose. After Sarvangasana, usually a counter asana is practiced to relieve the stretch of the neck. Ardha Matsyasana or Matsyasana is commonly practiced as it bends the neck in the opposite direction, giving a counter stretch to the neck. The duration maintained for the counter pose should be half of the duration of the Sarvangasana, that is 2 is to 1 ratio. After doing counter pose, one can move the head sideways. One can enjoy the benefits of Sarvangasana while observing in Shavasana. It allows a person to receive all the benefits by experiencing it. It restores all the systems as well as the chakras after the Sarvangasana. Ustrasana, the camel pose and Supta Vajrasana are also counter poses. Talking about benefits, Sarvangasana has many. It's a total body workout pose. Practicing this posture, more blood flows toward the throat. That's why it's one of the best asana to stimulate thyroid glands and help in steroid problems and bronchitis problems. Respiratory system gets boosted and this helps in asthma, breathlessness, palpitation, etc. It improves lungs capacity and removes mucus from the lungs. It strengthens the digestive system by returning fire that is any to the abdominal organs, stomach, liver, pancreas, spleen and kidneys. Blood circulatory and endocrine systems get the best stimulation because of this asana. It helps secretion of hormones as well as nourishment of lymph nodes. It soothes our nervous system, it releases stress and helps in short temper as well as in insomnia problems. Problems related to eyesight, hair loss, ear, nose and skin are cured with these asanas.
diseases caused in and around groin like piles hydrocele and certain kinds of hernia are cured as well as menstrual disorders frequent abortions infertility in women along with so many sexual disorders are also cured other diseases like intestinal disorders constipation diabetes varicose veins leukemia are also cured this asana helps to balance the body weight along with strengthening the core muscles for weak and old people practicing viparita karni as an alternative can also yield the same benefits like this the benefits are innumerable of this asana but there are some limitations as well so take the proper consultation of the doctor if you have following problems high blood pressure heart problems spondylosis that is neck problems slipped disc middle ear problems papillary weak age inflammation of spleen and liver in cases of head injuries shoulder problems like stiffness in shoulders vertigo conditions and even for the beginners it is recommended to practice this asana under the supervision of a yoga expert so yes practice this sarvangasana the queen of asanas daily and be healthy always thank you